What's going on guys, it's Jamie and welcome back to another video and guys I am very very excited to film this vlog. If you follow Gymshark you'll be well aware that the Gymshark 66 challenge has been going ahead as usual this year since the 1st of January. My pledge this year is very very close to me, it really falls into line with my goals at the minute and also falls into line with everything that is going on in the world with COVID and gyms being closed, home workouts and everything like that. A little bit later on in the video, I'm gonna sit down properly and kind of run you guys through my pledge, um, what it is about, what I hope to get out of it. That will be a little later on in the video, but for now, guys, we are starting this off with something very, very exciting this week actually just yesterday afternoon i received in the post a very 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 exciting parcel the uk is back into a full lockdown at the minute and with that means we are back onto home workouts going into this lockdown i knew that resistance bands were not going to cut it and it was time to invest in some proper gym equipment to help me through these home workouts now if you're like me and spent hours and hours trawling through the internet trying to find good deals on adjustable dumbbells adjustable barbells proper dumbbells barbells weights and plates it is very difficult to find any that are one in stock and two actually good value because with everything going on these sellers know exactly what they're doing and the prices just went right up and it was very hard to get hold of dumbbells after a lot of research guys i actually managed to find a website which had very good prices um, compared to others and also had equipment in stock. It's called Again Faster. I'm actually gonna link the website down in the description below. I'm not sure at this point if that will be a lot of help to you guys because from that point when I ordered, stock may well have deteriorated by then and they might not have a lot of stuff left, but I'm gonna leave that link down in the description anyway. So good luck guys if you are trying to buy anything from there. I hope they have some stuff left. Anyway, enough talking. I know you guys are gonna be very excited to see what I have got. The packages are sitting right down here. We're gonna get them open. These are absolutely beautiful, guys. Two brand new hex dumbbells for the home workout. You're probably wondering what weight I went for. I actually decided to go for a pair of 30 kilo dumbbells. It was a little bit, you know, I don't know what to go for. Do I go for something lighter for like arm training? Do I go a little bit heavier so I can get more of a chest connection? Flies, blah, blah, blah. A lot of exercises, guys, that needed doing and obviously it can be hard to do them with one weight and I thought you know what I'm just going to go for a heavy pair um, I thought 25s maybe and then I saw the 30s and thought I'm just going to go for it there are tweaks and variations you can do to exercises um, with a heavier weight which means it is still possible but guys obviously as we have just opened these you know what it means we're going to have to hit a workout to break them in christen them give them a little bit of a test run and of course that means we're going to hit an upper body workout Hey Google, turn on the TV. So I'm actually hitting this workout with only the dumbbells guys. No resistance bands in sight, it's going to be a dumbbell only upper body workout. So we started off real simple there with just a normal floor press, three sets there and oh my god it feels so good to hold some actual weight in my hands again. That feeling of resistance against a muscle is just unbeatable, that feels so so good. Good. We're going to keep it simple guys, we're going to do two movements for each muscle group. So two for chest, two for shoulders and two more for back. Might hit a little bit of arms at the end as well. But for now we're going to move on to movement number two for the chest and it's going to be a close grip landmine press, keeping it on the floor as well. Wow, okay, 
30 kilos overhead press, doing it whilst kneeling on the floor is a million times heavier than pressing the same weight while sitting down on an upright bench. Woo, we only managed to get four reps there. With that weight, that was a challenge, but I'm kind of glad about it guys because, because what I didn't want guys is to get these dumbbells and for some movements be able to rep them out for 10 to 15 reps. Because to simply put it, that would mean there's no room for progression and we don't know how long this lockdown is going to last, which means we have more than likely got a really, really good amount of time to build that progression over these movements as the lockdown progresses. And that's quite good being able to start off with four because then in a few weeks time we'll get it up to six, eight, ten reps and that is that progressive overload coming into our training, which as we know is absolutely essential. So I'm not too unhappy with that guys, four reps. We're gonna get another two sets with this exercise. So a lot of you guys are probably thinking that is far too much of a heavy weight to try and lateral raise. And honestly guys, you're not wrong, like it's very, very close to me not being able to do that. But something, <laughs> I haven't trained this hard in a long while, I'm fucked. <laughs> Back in the fortitude days, if you've been following me that long, something that I did to really develop my delts was just completely overload my lateral raise. And I'm talking overloading it in a sense of weight. So obviously this meant going fairly heavy, dropping the rep ranges right down and just trying to push as much as I could. With lateral raises, I'm not worried if I use a little bit of momentum to get the weight up. The main thing here, guys, is that that eccentric portion of the movement is really, really controlled. And when you pair that with a little bit of overloading a nice heavy weight, you're literally gonna be able to feel the tear in that muscle in the eccentric portion of the movement. 30 kilos is heavy, don't get me wrong. Before lockdown, I mean, I was repping, I think 22s, 25s, for lateral raise sets. I have actually used the 30s before, as I said back in the fortitude days, but I haven't touched them in a while. But as I said earlier, guys, this is just a really nice starting point for progression, because if we can continue to use this weight, that rep range is only gonna go up as we make our way through lockdown. All I'm doing here for back guys is a superset of a bent over row straight into just some standing shrugs. This bent over row is actually really really good. I actually used to run this in my pool days in the gym. Not only are we getting that engagement in the lats from the horizontal pull but keeping yourself obviously over in that position is going to be a really good engagement for the lower back. Obviously we're not going to be pulling any proper deadlifts whilst in lockdown so any other thing that can get some engagement from that lower back I'm I'm gonna be on board with it. We've got one more set here guys, and then we're gonna finish off with some arms. So guys, we're all finished up with the upper body workout there. As you would have seen, I literally just finished up with some back and forth supersets with triceps and biceps. Really, really nice little workout. It just felt so, so good to be able to push some actual weight around. Like I woke up this morning and I actually felt sore, like I had some little doms and yeah, I mean, it just feels so good. And the best thing of all guys is it just makes me excited to hit these home workouts. It makes me feel motivated to get into them. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I was lacking motivation for them anyway. Um, the resistance bands workouts were actually going really, really well um, since the start of this lockdown, but now we've got this extra equipment, extra little bit of weight, resembling more of what we actually do in the gym. It's just taking it up to another level. And as I said, I'm just so excited to be able to dig in to this home training now. If you remember back at the start of the video, guys, I did say before we finished that I just wanted to run you past what I am doing for Gymshark 66 this year. For 2021, guys, my pledge is a lot more of a general one. And as I said, it kind of fits in with everything going on, not just in my life, but in the world at the minute. So on my pledge card, I've actually written, get back on my bulk 
and stay motivated for home workouts while settling into our new home. So there's a few factors that go into my pledge this year, guys. Um, first of all, get back on my bulk. Obviously, with everything going on with the house move um, and finishing work for Christmas and not going to the gym and a lot of things, my diet did end up taking a bit of a hit. It was to be expected, um, so I wasn't too mad about it. I knew it was probably gonna happen, um, especially when we moved into the house in that first couple of weeks there. So for that reason, my first aim is to get back on my bulk, get back up into that surplus of calories, start gaining some weight again. Now we are back into training. The second thing was to stay motivated for these home workouts. I've spoken about it a little bit in this video, but obviously during the first lockdown, that three month one that we had back in March of last year, my motivation for home workouts took a massive hit towards the end of that period. And so one big goal for this lockdown, however long it may be, was to keep that motivation high for these home workouts. And obviously now with these dumbbells and being able to have a bigger range of movements and exercises that I can do, as I just said, motivation is higher than it has ever been now for these workouts. So this one should be really nice and good to stick to. And the last thing in my pledge was to do all of this while settling into our new home. This might sound a little bit silly to some people, but personally, it is really, really important. These last few weeks since we have moved into the house have just been so, so full on. There is so much to do. Um, and anytime that we kind of have like a moment to ourselves, we almost feel bad because it feels like we should just be doing something for the house. So that means obviously trying to find time for workouts on top of all of this uh, was quite hard right near the start. That's why for this year's 66, I'm really trying to make a point of not necessarily prioritizing these workouts, but really just trying to fit them in with everything else. I'm really just trying to keep a nice balance, not just with the training, but also with everything that we need to do for the house whilst we settle into it. So yeah, that's basically it guys. As I said, a lot more generalized this year compared to last. But the important thing for me guys, just the same as last year, is this goal really fits in with everything going on in my personal life at the minute. So hopefully that gave you guys a little bit of an idea as to what I'm trying to achieve for Gymshark 66 this year. You guys can expect me to keep you updated, not just here on my YouTube channel with videos, but also over on my Instagram page, both on my main feed and on my stories as well. I've also created a little highlights reel on my Instagram page. All of my stories from Gymshark 66 will be going on there. So if you haven't seen them yet, Go and catch up with that. Have a look at what we've been getting up to since the 1st of January. So that is gonna do it for this week's vlog. I really, really hope you enjoyed this one and hopefully you like this little return to the fitness side of things. Let me know if you did guys by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you feel like it, make sure to drop a comment down in the comment section below, letting me know what you thought of this video. If you are new to the channel or if you just haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one.